Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. So I had an idea recently that I need to get out of my head and get on the canvas. Um, I am going to do um, a series of ring pours on this canvas. I probably can't see it in the, um, uh, in the camera, but I have created a grid on this canvas with a uh, lightly um, drawing the lines with a ruler and uh, a pencil, and then I erased it as much as I could also because I don't want anything to show through. But this will help me guide me. I'm going to do 18 ring pours across this canvas, and I'm going to slowly transition from blue on this side to violet on this side to red on this side. So um, it'll have like a an, kind of a color transition going from one side of the canvas to the other. Um, I'm using uh, Amsterdam's greenish blue to start. The violet for the middle is uh, deep violet from Liquitex Basics. The red on the other side is going to be is um, Golden's Heavy Body uh, Naphthol Red Medium. And then paired with each of them is going to be Amsterdam Titanium White and DecoArt 24 Karat uh, Gold. So simple color palettes, but a, a color transition. That is the goal. Uh, I have also put a barrier of some painter's tape all the way around the canvas because the ones on the side may drift off as it as they spread so um, i'm going to try and keep all the paint on the canvas until i'm ready to do some spreading so um, i'm going to carefully um, layer my cups um, off camera because i'm going to use my um, oh actually I can probably do the first set this way. Can I do it this way? Can I do it? Will that work? I have sprayed the back of my canvas with a little bit of water, so it is really tight. Uh, I don't want everything to drift into the middle. You know what? I can layer the first couple of cups right here. I, I will have some flow extender later. I'm not sure what I'm using yet. I'll figure it out as I go. But let's go ahead and layer at least the first cup so you can see how I'll be layering each of them exactly the same um, as I go throughout. So let's start with our dark blue and we're going to put just a little uh, drizzle in the bottom of the cup of this color and then we're going to put a drizzle of gold right on top of that that may give us some cells a little bit of white. That puts me at 115. Okay, so let's do a little more blue. And then we're going to drizzle a little gold. Just a little bit, not a lot. And then we'll top that off with white. There we go. So that's how I'm going to layer my cups. And I'm going to start here and go up blue and then start slowly transitioning to the, and when I get up into here, I'll start adding a little bit of the violet so that it blends for the next line. So yeah, there we go. That's the plan. Let's get started.
could never let you go. I am not so sure you believe me. But if I mean to show you, I will never let you go. No, I don't see the logic of things. It's quite. So here are the wet results. I've already got this um, over in my um, drying room. Um, I'm super happy with this. I really love how this turned out. There's a really interesting motion. There's a great, I love the color scheme. Um, I love that uh, I was actually able, I'm sorry about the shadow here, not great lighting in this room. Um, but I love how I was able to keep each of the 18 rings which is awesome and look at these boulder cells oh so pretty i love how you know it goes blue here and it starts to transition to the violet here a little more violet down here and then a full row of violet and then as you come back down again the violet slowly transitions into the red and then a full row of the red gold and white and then it transitions into the blue. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that worked out. That plan certainly came together. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I hope you like it too. Stay tuned for the dry results coming up next.